What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to create a night vision effect in DaVinci Resolve 16. To insert your video or image into your project, go to File, Import File and Import Media. In this case here, I'm going to use a JPEG file in my project. Go to your media pool which contains the videos and images that you have imported. Left click once on the thumbnail of your file, hold your mouse button down and drag this to the timeline on your edit window. Let go of your left mouse button once your file is in place at the start of your timeline at the zero second mark. Go to effects library, go to generators and solid color. Left click, hold your mouse button down and drag your mouse to the right above the first video or image file that you inserted on your edit timeline. Let go of your left mouse button to drop the solid color edit on video track two. With your selection mode tool selected, which you can do by pressing A on your keyboard, ensure that your solid color edit is selected by left clicking once. Go to inspector. Under generator, double click on the color box and in the select color window which appears, type in the following code to select a green color which you will use for your night vision effect. Hashtag 32A902. A preview of this color should appear to the left. Click OK. Underneath Inspector again, go to Composite, left click on Normal and change this to Color. Go to left click once on the color icon at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve interface. Go to the color wheels tab which appears near the middle of your screen. Left click once. Go to lift. Left click and hold your mouse button on the scroll bar which appears underneath the color wheel itself. Drag your mouse to the left to minus 0.06. This should help the darker areas of your image stand out more. Go to the scroll box underneath the gamma rainbow wheel. Hold your mouse button down and drag to the right. Increasing the gamma setting to 0.02. Increasing the gamma will intensify the midtone colors slightly. The midtones are the shades that are categorized in between the bright and dark areas of your image. Finally, go to the scroll bar underneath Gain. Left click, hold your mouse button down and drag to the right to 1.09 to intensify the brighter areas of your image. Now left click on your fusion icon at the bottom of your screen. Ensure that your two nodes for your video project are in full view by moving the keyframes window to one side and dragging media in one closer to media out one. Left click on this miniature screen once to reveal both nodes, media in one and media out one. I'm going to separate these slightly using the mouse by left clicking and dragging these further apart. Ensure that your media in one node is selected by left clicking on this once so that there's a red outline around this. Press shift and space on your keyboard. Type in grain in the search box to find the grain GRN tool. Select this and go to add, left click once. Underneath inspector in your fusion window, for your grain one node, increase the power to 5.5 you can do this by double clicking in the number box with 5.0 and typing manually press enter when you're done or alternatively left click and drag the gray circle on the line that appears next to power the grain node should add a fuzzy distorted effect to your video project ensure that your grain one node is selected press shift and space once more and search for soft glow. Go to add this tool and under inspector for your soft glow one node, 
change the gain to 0 0.8. The soft glow node should help intensify the blighter areas of your video or image. As you see with the blighter areas conventionally in night vision imagery, such as a light bulb or reflection from a window. Left click on your edit window to go back and preview your work. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.